Hello, this is Gary Oates with another tutorial on AVS Video Editor. This tutorial is very much about the special effects that you get using the green blue screen scenario, known as chroma key. This effect, this concept is used in most of the movies made nowadays to get special effects. So without further ado, let's discover how to do this in AVS Video Editor. So here I am in AVS Video Editor. This is version 5.2. I'm not going to cover how to set this up and how to the basic features of this. I have tutorials on this already and I'll give you some information about these tutorials at the end of this video. So the first thing I need to do is import the video clip or image that's been taken using a green blue green scenario. Now I don't have the equipment here myself but I've managed to find a clip with this particular character who's volunteered to help me. You may recognize him, it's Tiger Woods. So here we have a recording, a short recording of Tiger Woods on a green background. First thing we want to do is say once it's imported is to drag this into the timeline under the overlay section or within the overlay section. Once in the overlay section we want to edit the overlay. There we are and here's Tiger Woods. Once it's in there you can move them around side to side and make it larger or smaller. What I'm going to do I'm going to move him into the bottom corner here once I've done that, the first thing you need to do is check the box here, the chroma key box, and now we need to pick up the background color. By doing that, if you just click the color section here, and there we have, we can pick it up, and as you can see, it starts to disappear already. And by moving this, you can make it all disappear, just like that. I would suggest you keep the smooth button checked, and as you can see, it does affect the outline edges here, so by smoothing it, it makes it a lot easier, uh, disappears most of the, the the green disappears so let's okay that and let's have a quick play so there is tiger woods he does talk you can't hear him on a black background or blank background so now let's add a backdrop for this i'm going to add in an image a mountainous image now as you can see when i did that it moved across to prevent that you just click the lock line here and i also want to bring in a video as well Let's just bring a video of a passing train and maybe one of an office. Not that I can see Tiger Woods working in an office, but he is on this video. And let's go back to the beginning and see what we got. So there is Tiger Woods with a nice scenic background. It's walking away there and oh, mind that train. And you never know, one day he could be working in an office, but he certainly is on this video clip here. And that's it. That's all it is to it. So obviously it's very important how you record your image on the on the back green blue backdrop. And then you can add in the scenery from, from behind. Just just to go back to the edit overlay, because there are a number of other features in here I'd like to point out. There is this transparency button here which can make it fade in, or fade out I should say, and then fade back in. If you want to, you can add masks around the clip. And if really, if you want to again, you can add some frames. So there's quite a bit you can do on the overlay. I'm just going to cancel that. Of course, what is important is the equipment that you use to do your effects. I would definitely recommend that if you're going to do this on a regular basis that you get a proper green backdrop. Lighting is very important. You can't afford any shadows whatsoever. You know, it's got to be very clear background, very green, just one color. So equipment is very important. Hope you enjoyed the tutorial. Hope it's useful, useful, and hopefully I'll see you on some of my other ones.